how to mod Genshin Impact. Quick warning, don't mod this game if you're under 18 because there's a lot of NSFW mods. This is only for PC. You cannot mod on phone or on any other platform. This is for PC only. And without further ado, let's get into it. So modding Genshin Impact, how does it work? A lot of people are really afraid of modding Genshin Impact. And the reason is, is that they think that it affects the game files and that it changes things, switching skins in and out, but it doesn't work like that. So the way we're going to mod Genshin Impact is that we're going to get a different application that runs in the background, separate from the game itself, which adds skin mods or other mods to your game. So this is 100% safe. Just make sure no one sees your ID code so Genshin doesn't ban you, which is the same code number in the bottom right corner. Don't post about it. Don't expose yourself. Just mod in peace. All the links I show you are going to be in the description of this video, so don't worry. The first thing you want to do is go to this website, which is down in the description called Silent Night Sound. Click on it. You want to scroll all the way down till you see these assets. They're in blue. The uh, box is next to them. And you want to go down here till you see this. And what you're looking for is 3D Migoto GMI for playing mods. So what you want to do is click here. And it should automatically start downloading, as you can see. And to find where your download went, click up here on the folder icon right here. Press it. And the mod should be right here. Mine looks like a bookcase. Yours might be different. The reason why my downloads look like this is because I got an extractor app, which is uh, irrelevant. But yeah, it looks different. But don't worry, it's the same thing. Okay, once you download it, it should be in your folders. It would be a zip file and it might look different from yours to mine, but it's the same thing. What you want to do is click on it right click extract here now this is the folder you need to mod what you want to do is move it to the drive where genshin is installed because it's easier for your game to access your mods faster if your game is located where the mods are to check where genshin is all you have to do is click the search bar type again Shin and your Genshin application should appear right here right click open file location look up here it's in my C drive. Okay, so now that we know that information, what you want to do is make a new folder in your C drive. Now move 3D Magoto to your new folder that's in your C drive. There you go. You have the app to start modding, but this isn't everything, so relax. Once you download the app, you can start downloading mods. Okay, the next link you want to go to is called Game Banana, and this is where you're going to find the majority of your mods. So now that you arrived to this page, you can find many mods from many different types of games, but we're here just for Genshin Impact. All you have to do is scroll down and look for Genshin Impact. Click on it. Boom. Genshin Impact Mods. If you scroll down, you can see best trending mods of today, this year, and all these mods that have been popular. You can also look for mods that have been out for a while. As you can see, five days, six days, mods that have been out. You could check for new mods daily, or you could check for ones that have been updated because they probably didn't work or they were just broken. So now we're just gonna download a mod, simple as that. Let's find something pretty cool and a character I own. So, well, let's go with something crazy. Let's get Venti Archon mod, scroll down and click manual download, click download and make sure to put it in a folder to keep your mods organized. I would recommend making a new folder just by right clicking new folder and name this Genshin YouTube mods. There you go. Making a mods folder. Now let's get a couple more because we want to test a lot of mods just to show you it works because you won't believe me if I just show you one and it's more fun if I show you more. Let's get a Kokomi mod. Okay, so you got Venti, Coco. Let's just get four mods because usually you can only have four characters. Venti, Kokomi. Yeah, just download it. Okay, it's downloading. Let's get Beto. Yes, Beto. Let's download Beto. Download. And one more mod. Ganyu. Yeah, let's get a Ganyu mod. Some of these mods have instructions as well under in the descriptions. 
And the mod you want to get, usually it's the one that's been uploaded recently. But since this person uploaded two versions, let's just get this one. Always get the most modern version. Don't get the old one. Because if you do, you might get a buggy version of a mod, which is not good. There you go. I have three mods. Now, what you want to do is extract them all. You could extract them all one by one. Like if I want to extract here, boom, gone you mod right there. You could also delete the zip file or you could keep it just in case, but I like to delete them. So venti extract here, venti delete, gone you delete, extract here, boom, delete. Now that you have them all extracted, you can now put them in your mods folder. So remember, put 3D Magoto where you save Genshin Impact. For me, it's my C drive. So that's why 3D Magoto is in my C drive. So now copy them. I go to where I saved 3D Magoto, which is my C drive. And then I go down, I put it in this folder, which I named Genshin Magoto. I double click, go through twice, and you don't want to mess with any of this. Just go to your mods, right click, paste. There we go. Okay, once you have your mods there, you just double click on 3D Magoto Loader to open up the application because it says right there application. But I got a quick recommendation. You want to right click on this and pin it to start. And what that's going to do is now every time you click your windows up here, it's going to be right here and put it near where Genshin is. Because if you're going to be using this, you're going to be playing Genshin as well, obviously. But now that you have it there, it makes it way easier to load up your mods. So all you want to do is click on the application. Once it says ready, open Genshin Impact and update it, of course, because there's an update, launch. It says target found Genshin Impact EXE. That means it's good. Successful, 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 boom. Here we go. Once you hear that boop, you know you got it. And you see this on the bottom left, it means it's working. This program's free. If you paid for it, you've been scammed. Like it says right there. Make sure to remember these. F1 for your helpless, F10 to reload mods, just in case like if your mods didn't work. Now we have to download more crap because yes, this game, Fuck. Okay, we'll be right back. After waiting 30 minutes for an update to download a loading and extracting, go! We're in the game, finally. Whoa, this is so different from last time I played. Okay, let's get the characters we modded. We modded Ganyu. Yup. We modded... Oh, Kokomi. Kokomi, Kokomi. Here she is. So these are the characters we modded. It looks like Venti is just broken. Like I said, some of these mods do not work. It's going to depend on the person who made it, if they're going to create an update to fix it, but some of these don't work. This is just clean. This is a badass mod. I might actually just keep this one. This is cool. Okay, now let's check Kogumi. She's water, yet she's wearing like an electro outfit. And as you can see, we're playing Genshin Impact. We're running, we're jumping, we're doing the doop-de-doo, you know? And there we go. 